One year ago, near to the day, a man approached me and said, Craig, I have a Honda Goldwing that I wanna sell. I'm moving, I don't need it. It was painted by Bob Ross. It's an old bike, would you be interested? I'm like, honestly, I have no interest in a Honda Goldwing. I'm not an old man yet, I don't need a Honda Goldwing. And he said, well, Craig, you gotta see this Honda Goldwing. It's a 1984 Honda Goldwing with 72,000 miles. Make me an offer. I'm like, I don't want it, I don't want it. It's 1200 bucks, it's yours, 1200 bucks. So I'm like, all right, fine, bring it by my shop. I'll take a look at it. Long story long, I bought it. And in our next video, we're taking this thing to Sturgis, South Dakota to see if my 40 year old, 72,000 mile Honda Goldwing Aspencade can make it the week out in Sturgis, South Dakota, the world's largest bike week. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels, let's get going. All right, you all know Papa Al. What is on your shirt right there? That's just 21. That is 21, Sturgis, South Dakota. That is the last time that we went to South Dakota. You have been 38 times 39 okay. this year. Didn't go last year, and we missed one during COVID. Otherwise, you're what they call an iron ass? Iron tail? Iron butt. Iron butt. He has ridden out 1,000 plus miles per day out there on his own, sometimes by himself at like 79 years old. This bike is heading out to Sturgis. I've made that ride twice in a car, I don't want to make it thrice. It is going in the trailer, and this old girl is heading out to South Dakota to see if it will make it all week long. And to be quite honest with you, it's a big bike. Like in 21 when I went out, I was in a Yamaha FZ9 sport bike, and it was fun, but it wasn't comfy. This thing, look at this seat right here. Comfy, comfy, comfy. My 13-year-old son is going with us. How old was I my first trip, Pop? 12, 13. 13, 13 years, years old. When he took me out for my trip. She don't need to know how old I am. 13 years old when he took me out to my first trip in South Dakota. My son is now 13 years old. We're taking him to South Dakota. This may be his last trip, maybe not. We don't know, we'll find out next year if we're gonna go again, but this could be the last trip ever. And can this bike, I don't know, is it safe enough for both me and my son too? Now we have gone through it already. I had it serviced, I had it inspected, I had the, the carbs cleaned, everything done, the starter we did last year, the fluids we did, the plugs were done, so it should be okay. I mean, it is a Honda, and without further ado, like I just talk so much, I know I talk so much. Let's take a look at this bike. All right, 1984 Honda Goldwing Aspen Cade. What is an Aspen Cade? I have no idea. Why don't you guys tell me what an Aspen Cade is? So now we have this giant, giant fairing, fog lights, headlights, side lamps, directionals, dual mirrors. We have pinstriping down the side, which I'm gonna get to in a minute because word on the street is this was painted by Bob Ross. I don't know how true it is. This right here, air shields or air conditioning. It either keeps the rain out from my legs and the cold air out from my legs or it vents and keeps my legs nice and cool. Right here, we have front and rear air suspension. That is right, this 1984 Honda has air suspension, lifts and lowers in the rear, which is really, really cool. Now going down here, we have our bags. Look at, we have our bags, look, there's Bob Ross. Our bags come off. This is the first time I've ever had saddlebags and I can fit stuff in them. I can fit extra parts, I can fit my leathers, I can fit my rain gear, everything right where I want it. Now again, these seats, just like, I'm gonna sit on it real quick. Look at the seating position. It's like I'm sitting on a couch for an entire motorcycle ride. All right, enough of that. Now, not only me, it has a comfortable plush seat for my son with a backrest with storage. I can put my GoPros in here. I can put soda bottles in there. Now let's keep moving off to the back where I have a luggage rack for my helmet and I have even more storage here. My rain gear, my warmer, my cooler leathers, my warmer leathers, everything's in there. And it locks in place and actually, not just place, has locks. Now again, what does Aspen Cade mean? I'm not quite sure. Here's a cool thing. I was told this bike was painted by Bob Ross. Is it true? I can't verify. I can tell you there's two stickers from Bob Ross, of Bob Ross on here. And there's some happy accidents, some trees. Now it's all airbrushed, which makes me think it's not Bob Ross, but it could be kind of if he did it. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Now, if I look at the previous registration, the last name on it is actually Ross. I was told it was his cousins. So maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Now, dual exhaust, mud flaps, tons of taillights. Going off to the inside, going off to the other side, giant antennas. Watch out for these suckers. All right, I get radio service. So there we go. All right, let's go to the meat and potatoes right here. Okay, on this bike, we have a cassette player. So if I turn this on, let's see what's playing. Yeah, Johnny Cash. Now if I eject that, I can flip the cassette over. I have my whole mix of cassettes that I borrowed from my father. Here's what's cool about this bike. If I start it up and I turn the choke on, turn the radio down, listen. Listen how quick this thing starts, ready? Oh, we're not in neutral. Neutral, ready for this? 
like a Honda should. Now here's what's cool. Choke is off now. Oh, we still gonna run? Yeah. See those gears right there? N for neutral or first or second or third or fourth and OD for overdrive. It tells me what gear I'm in. Right on the dash, like I'm in a car, has temp gauge, has full fuel gauge, high beams, turn signals, oil, fuel, everything. All my warning lights are on my dashboard of my motorcycle. I can adjust the headlights right there, which is really cool because even the newest Honda Goldwings, like I just looked at a 14 Honda Goldwing, is identical, but new. It has the headlight adjustment. It has all of this, but and still digital, just newer. I don't know what this does. I don't know what that does. Has a cigarette lighter that has never been used, and I can change my trips all right here. I have my choke. Check this out. Hazards. Hazards. High beam, low beam. Now when my radio's on, full blast, and I want to talk to somebody and it's just too loud, I hit Mute. Oh, it was on mute. So it was on mute, so it quiets everything. Hey, I want to talk to you real quick. Hang on. Muted. Then we can change the radio stations here. Again, hazards, low beam, high beam, directionals. <laughs> Horn. Sounds like an 84 Honda. I can adjust the radio here. And then I don't know what these are. Maybe my fog. What are those? I don't know what those buttons are. Again, there's my air conditioner, my heater. Here's a cool spot, too. Here's my windshield. I legally don't need to be wearing glasses, safety glasses, because I have a windshield. I do, I wear a helmet, I wear glasses. But what else is cool about this windshield, just like these, is this right here. It opens up to draft air in, or it closes to turn it off. Now if it rains, I'm not getting wet. Okay. Close it, close it, close it. I'm not getting wet. I have all of this in front of me, nothing. And even the engine is blocking my legs on both sides, so we good. If it rains in South Dakota, we are good. Now there's a couple other cool things. First of all, this thing's been idling at 720 RPMs this whole time, purring. Let's shut it off. All right, this has a cell phone case. Like, how do they know in 1984, I'm gonna need a cell phone case in 2023? I think that's pretty neat. Take my Honda key out, open this right here, boom. I have my cassettes, my tunes for the road trip. I have my Van Morrison. I have my broken cassette down there. I have my James Taylor. I have my Joe Cocker. And I also have Eric Clapton Unplugged. And then I have my flying wheel stickers to put all over the place. Now this, my GoPro holder, and then even another 12 volt power outlet. Extra fuses in there. And then this is where we put our premium fuel. Close that, here we go. Let's see how she rides. Look at that, no choke, cold start. Fires right up, Honda. Gotta love Honda. Let's go for a ride. If you can see in the mirror, that's how I'm recording everything over there. Yep, that's me. Okay, let's check this bike out. Should we turn the radio on or just listen to this engine purr? Oh yeah. I'm feeling pretty confident about this trip. I think we're gonna go, look at how comfortable I am. Like I can actually scoot back and have, it's like I'm sitting on a couch holding the remote in the armrest. Everything is placed so perfectly for me on this bike. It's unbelievable. And I even have my little toot <laughs> toot. -choo. I even have my tunes, I think. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see, yeah, there it is. Now the other thing, my son, he's 13. He's been on dirt bikes his whole life. He's been riding since he's three years old. I don't think he's ever been on the back of a bike before. So he's gonna go maybe 800 miles this week on the back of a motorcycle at bike week for the first time ever, which is kind of neat. This bike, so I think I'm gonna need a helmet, some glasses, or at least a do-rag. You know what? I've usually only had Harleys, and I'm used to the rumble of a Harley. I am loving how smooth this bike is. Pickup, not so much. It's a little dull as far as pickup goes. 1200cc, four cylinder, not much power to it, but it is smooth. All right, we're back at the house. Let's do one more glance at this bike and then get it loaded up. So this right here is my $1,200, 1200cc, four cylinder, 40 year old, 72,000 mile Honda Goldwing that in the next video we're taking South Dakota in that for bike week and you guys are going to join me. So make sure to hit the bell down below so you get notifications for our next Sturgis video because I'm going to do some wild nights in Sturgis. I'm going to do like a bartenders of Sturgis, some like interesting stuff too. So make sure to subscribe down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in Sturgis. Adios. <laughs> Triple X Custom, yeah! Michigan. Here we go. Oh, man, man. He still won. He still won.